Good evening. Tonight's top story, an outbreak of the novel flu infectious and live transmittable E. coli rubella virus, or no filter, has made its way to Singapore. Symptoms include high fever, <coughs> chesty coughs, <coughs> and most shockingly, the inability to tell a lie. <laughs> Hello? It's 10 a.m. Where are you? Where do you think? I'm home! Went clubbing last night. Was planning to get MC today. Anyway, I go to office also just pretend to work only, right? And whenever I actually did some work, you just end up taking the credit, right? This job sucks. The company sucks. You suck! Okay, don't come to work. You are clearly infected. The virus attacks a specific part of the brain's cognitive filter, forcing the victim to only tell the truth and nothing but the truth. There is currently no cure for no filter, and a vaccine is at least 18 months away. However, officials advise the public to remain calm and not to panic. <laughs> came here to get some groceries, but people seem to be stocking up for the next year, especially toilet paper. Are they buying to wipe their own backsides or all the backsides in the HDB block? Don't you know, when some people are about to die, their bowels will empty out and they will crap out their pants. And there's only one thing more scary than death. Death by diarrhea! Excuse me! In a statement, the health minister urged Singaporeans not to hoard supplies like masks and sanitizers. He said there is enough in the government stockpile if everyone acts sensibly and responsibly. A bit uh, overkill, right? He can keep out the virus, but not the stupid. The Ministerial Task Force also calls on all Singaporeans in public to practice social distancing and maintain at least one metre distance between yourself and the next person. Members of the public are strongly advised to stay at home, especially those from more vulnerable groups, such as senior citizens. I want to go and Don't go, I go! No Filter has also raised concerns about its potential repercussions on the fabric of society, where infected people are actually compelled to tell the truth. Does this dress make me look fat? Does it or not? Hey, I cannot hear you. Say something, does it or not? Make me look fat, right? Right! Say! Say! Dear, are you looking forward to Christmas? Yes, I've been a good girl this year. I've already written my wish list letter for Santa. Oh, that's wonderful, <coughs> dear. <coughs> Daddy, you'll help me send my letter to Santa like you did last year? Santa isn't real, dear. Daddy, I don't understand. Santa doesn't exist. Daddy's the one who bought your present last year, huh? That's stupid, expensive dollhouse which you only played twice! Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Daddy feels sick just thinking what crazy expensive toy you want again this year. This... This is all your mother's fault. She spoiled you. I wish Santa was real so I could actually have time to go play golf. Ayo, just now this handsome customer called me Manny. I still got it. Manny? <laughs> he blinds it. Hello? You're not Tony Leung either, okay? I always fancy myself to be more Brad Pitt's. More like I'm pink! <laughs> Some of your stomach's so big, huh? It arrives at the coffee shop five minutes before you do! My stomach is nothing compared to yours, okay? Last night when I was watching my favourite TV show, Little Boya, you walk in front of the TV and I missed three episodes. What nonsense! I've been going to the gym, okay? I weighed myself this morning and I already lost 3 kg. 3 kg! The 3 kg is because you had no makeup on. You stupid little man. Come here! 
I'm gonna shove this up your ass. Oh my god, they are infected! Hey guys, no filter test results are in. Looks like you're both negative. The no-filter virus is a pandemic the likes of which the world has not seen before. If there is a silver lining to this crisis, perhaps it's that the human race can reset and there can now be a little more honesty in this world. We don't need to worry about the virus, right, dear? Honesty is what we have anyway. I feel so safe that whether we get infected or not, we will always be 100% truthful to each other for as long as we're together. 